What's up guys, QEG3000 here, and welcome back to part 3 of Let's Play Spider-Man 2002. So we are in the sewers, and we have to deal with the Shocker's goons. So here's the guy with the gun, and he has the key that we need to get through the door that's locked, which is on the other side of this room. He does take quite a bit of damage in order to kill key to that door, I presume. Yep. There's some doors that you need to activate using the X button, and then some of them just you run up to them and they open. The game doesn't really do a good job of telling you which one is which. I find especially now at this point in the game is where the camera problem becomes troublesome. How you can't move, like when you move the camera you still keep moving forward the way you were going and you have to like totally reset yourself in order to turn. Anyway, so this room has two switches that we need to activate in order to open the door. Which is on the lower level. Shall we dance? All of these guys have guns. Hmm. Looks like there's another switch I need to hit too. That opened the door. I'd better pick up the pace before I lose Shocker. I think oh, this man, level though. or this uh, part might be kind of short because I'm only gonna do this mission and the one after. Sorry, no autographs. I don't even know why I'm bothering with this guy. I could just be moving on. Having fun yet? I don't know. I guess I'm trying to prolong the video. How's this guy? Finally, he's dead. Alright, now if you are in the water, the current is really strong and it will push you back. It's time to stop that freak. Vic, make it happen. I'm on it. So very similar to the power fuse that we had to get when we were going for Uncle Ben's killer. This is basically like that where the enemies took something away that we need and we gotta go get it back. In this case, it's the wheel that controls the water flow current. Clearly we can't get through there because that's impossible. So we need to go and get that uh, valve thing back in order to... Well, turn the water down. Look out! So, this place is kind of a maze, and there's a whole bunch of enemies. One of them has what we need. I think a lot of them have, uh, guns. Heads up. I think I see the one that we need. Yep, here he is. Just forget the guy with the gun, let's move on. I guess we do have to deal with this guy. Well, at least the water's down. Oh, oh, I don't want to jump in there. Or, yeah, the electricity makes the water electrified. Okay, now getting into this hole is kind of hard. What I'm going to do is start crawling. There we go. Where did Shocker find all you guys? 
Is there a website or something? I want to be on the ceiling right now because at this point, they start lobbing grenades at us. They hurt a lot. Actually, I want to, if I can, I want to show off Web Dome. So that took a lot of them. It does cost a lot of your web fluid, though. I'm gonna guess that the brown one isn't dead. Yep. Alright, I think we want to go this way. Okay. I have to get health right now. Whoa. Lots of grenades. Lots of gunfire. Whoa. Call of Spider-Man. Modern web slinging. That better not be it as far as health goes. I think we're going to need more. Dibs on the spot. I don't I'm not sure if these enemies actually take fall damage. Oh boy. Here come a lot. Here come a lot. Here come a lot. Oh Christ, oh no. Look out. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Dumb. Dumb and ugly. That did not take out nearly as many people as I wanted it to. You are so Learn that one on the playground, huh? Oh, this isn't good as far as health. Will this guy just die already? Like, really? How much beating can one guy take? I'm ready to get out of this sewer. I hope this oh yeah, we need this key. I hope there's help coming up because I did a practice run of the missions that I'm gonna do in part four. And this game gets hard, so I died during the practicing for those levels. And I can confirm that there are no checkpoints. If you die even at the end of a level, you do have to restart it. And that is the camera messing me up and me falling. Shocker! He's heading into the subway tunnels. I have to stop him fast. Okay, well, I didn't need any more health. Anyways, this is the end of level six. I gotta give him credit. Shocker's a fast runner. Holy! Come on, Shock. You know I can't let you run around down here without a chaperone. That's it, Web Slinger. You've been riding me long enough. I'm gonna finish you once and for all. Okay. So the way that this works is the shocker. Okay, we can't do it there. The shocker sends out um these shock waves that if they hit you, if you get hit three times, you're done. 
So you have to go into these um, in-between walls. And you have to web-sling from one to the other. Uh-oh. Yeah, th this is where it controls and the camera can really mess you up. Holy shit. And no, I would not advise having him activated on one side and then going to another because he is quick. He is very quick. If you're going to do it, you know, don't lure him or anything. He's... Nope. What I like to do is go on the ceiling and do it like this, but that's only when the controls work. And it's kind of hard sometimes to see which way you want to go with it. I like to look for the red dot things. And we, if we get hit one more time, we're done. Okay, so... Spider-Man's left eye is the closest to where we do want to go, so I'll... Okay, I think we only need to go one more thing, you know? Okay. Okay, so I can't really see. Okay, so he's facing where we want to go. So I'm gonna... Nah, I can't, I, uh oh, mm -mm. see, had I tried to go there, that wouldn't have been good. Oh, we have to do one more. Great. Okay, that's not the way we want to go. Okay, it keeps jumping. I, I, I'm sorry. I know this is taking so long, but you gotta be really careful. Okay, we got it. And we better find some health before the actual fight. Because if we die during the actual fight, then we're gonna have to do that again. So over here, there's a switch. The, you want to get the left one, which will open up a pathway. There is another switch on the right side, but it does nothing. At least not that I know of. I, I mean, it activates a thing. Oh, here's something I can talk about. Yeah, there's these golden spiders that I haven't even mentioned yet. That They're like collectibles, and each time you find one, you get a new move. A new combo. Come on, freak. You need to learn a lesson, and Shocker's School of Hard Knocks is now open. Give me a break, Shock. I can't believe you have any class, let alone a whole school worth. Oh, how corny the jokes in this game are. Okay, so here's the Shocker. So, he sends out shockwaves. I, always, I definitely want to keep a camera lock on him during this. Okay, he has this one move that I'm waiting for him to do. Not yet. Nope. Yep, it's that one. So he does this, like, cyclone kind of move. And when he finishes it, he's dizzy. So that's when you definitely want to go hit him. Come on, do it again, please. Ugh. 
When I did my practice run, he did it a lot more often. If you hit Y and and left at the same time, you have web gloves. Which basically makes your damage increased. Damn it. There better be another health in here, because I think I'm going to need it. Uh-oh. Did I hurt you, Spider-Man? Man, you're... Whatever. This, this guy is... I mean, his jokes are corny, but, you know, powers-wise, I think he's really underrated. There you go. Looks like your flying friend's getting your share of the loot, too. Where'd he get off to, anyway? Oh, if I don't get mine, Vulture isn't getting his. He had some workshop set up, up in the old clock tower, on the Lower East Side. Vulture, huh? Thanks, Shocker. Give my regards to my fans in the Slammer. Okay, that is it for level 7. That's it for the Shocker. This is some nest. Okay, so next time in part four, we are going to be climbing the clock tower to get to the vulture. The vulture was the guy who flew out of the window that crashed Spider-Man. There was a cutscene in part two where that happened. It was right before the subway station level. So we're going to get him in the clock tower. This level is very difficult, but we'll see next time just how difficult it is. So thank you guys for watching part three. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in part four. So until then, peace out.